Hello everyone, I am Professor Mangesh Zoshi. So today we will see introduction to inferential statistics. So first lecture objective is understanding inferential statistics concept behind sample and population and application of inferential statistics. So descriptive statistics describes the data. It may give you mean, mode, median, standard deviation and other measures. Whereas inferential statistics allows you to make predictions as name indicates inference from the data. With inferential statistics, you take data from samples and make generalization about population. So suppose you are conducting your research in a geographical area. So this entire your area will be called as population and you suppose select uh, let us say nine houses from those geographical areas. So these noun houses will be called as samples. So your population may contain 100 or 1000 houses and you are selecting nine houses from your samples as a samples. So an assumption is made in inferential statistics. A sample has similar properties as population from which it is drawn. Means, suppose you are shaking with the help of Python, that is, let us say population is equals to np dot random dot random. You have generated 10,000 random numbers as a population and then you have selected 300 samples with the choice function from that population, right? And then you have printed various measures that is mean, median or standard deviation of population as well as sample. So you can see that in the population mean is 0 0.500 whereas sample mean of 300 samples comes around 0.506. Median is 0 0.501 and median of sample is 0 0.503. Similarly, the standard deviation of population is 0.288 whereas the standard deviation of sample comes out to be 0 0.280. So you can see that if you select 300 out of 10,000, you are getting approximately the same values of sample as well as population. So as per this assumption, the sample has similar properties as your population, but this depends on the type of sampling you are using. So inferential statistics provides enormous benefit because typically you cannot measure an entire population. Suppose there are 10,000 people and you want to measure the height of 10,000 people. So that will become a very costly affair. So using the samples, you can save your time as well as money. However, to gain these benefits, you must understand the relationship between population, subpopulation, population parameters, sample and sample statistics. At a broad level, we must do the following. First, you have to define the population we are studying. Second, draw a representative sample from the population. Third, use analysis that incorporates the sampling error, which is nothing but the gap between the observed value of the sample and the actual value of the population. So that is a sampling error. So let us assume you have a population of India or world so that will be termed as the population, right? Since you cannot measure the height of the all population of India, you will draw some samples from this. You may select say 1000 people from each city and likewise. 
so that will be called as population and the selections are called as sample now suppose you are doing a research on some shopping characteristics of male and female so you can have the sub population as well that is you select 100 males and 100 females and then you are checking the shopping time required by males and females so you may have a sub population right that is either male or female or it is depending on the income group likewise so what are the applications of inferential statistics so first application is estimating parameters so this means taking a statistic from your sample data that is for example you are measuring the mean weight and using it to say something about the population parameter that is the population mean weight secondly you can do the hypothesis testing this is where you can use sample data to answer your research question for example you might be interested in knowing a new cancer drug is effective or not or if breakfast helps children to perform better in schools or use sample evidence to test the claim that the population mean weight is 70 kg so these are the two applications of inferential statistics now population parameter versus sample statistics so a parameter is a value which describes a characteristics of entire population the parameter may be mean mode or median or some other uh, value because you can almost never measure an entire population you usually do not know the real value of a parameter that is if you are having 1 lakh people you cannot measure the height of 1 lakh people practically so practically it is not feasible so the mean height of population you will never know the population mean and standard deviation are the two common parameters on the other hand a statistics is, is a characteristic of a sample if you collect a sample and calculate the mean and standard deviation this will be called as sample statistics inferential statistics allow you to use sample statistic to make conclusion about a population we have just seen the python code in which we have compared the mean standard deviation and median of population as well as uh, sample however to draw valid conclusions you must use particular sampling technique so the right choice of sampling technique is required these are some ter terms used symbols used for representing population parameter and sample statistics so for representing mean for population you can use mu symbol and for representing mean of sample you can use x bar to represent standard deviation of a population you can use sigma and to represent sample deviation of sample you can represent it with s so why sampling what is the need of this sampling the first and the foremost it is less time consuming than to measure the parameter or data related to population less costly to administer it is possible to obtain statistical result of sufficiently high precision based on the sample because the research process is sometimes destructive the sample can save products so if you are doing some non destructive uh, destructive testing methods you cannot destruct entire population so by testing on the sampling basis you can save sufficient products then if accessing the population is impossible you can use sampling and pros and cons of working with samples while samples are much more practical and less expensive to work with typically we learn about the population by drawing a relatively small sample from it 
Consequently, when you estimate the properties of population from a sample, the sample statistics are unlikely to equal the actual population value exactly. For instance, your sample mean is unlikely to equal population mean. The difference between the sample statistic and population value is called as the sampling error. Inferential statistics incorporates estimates of this error into statistical results. I hope you have understood what is inferential statistics and you have also understood the difference between sample and uh, population, right? Thank you for watching this video. Send your requests to untwistedlearning at gmail.com. If you are having any queries, you can comment below. So thank you for watching. Have a good day and happy learning.